Hi, this is Sido. Welcome back to Katia Tutorial Cat.com, and uh, this is the continuation of uh, the, uh, the process of installation Katia V5 uh, student version, or also it's very similar to the other uh, versions that you have for Katia. Okay, this is video number three. Now, my installation was successful. I installed everything fine. Uh, we're gonna be. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start Katia. Now, I did not import my license yet, so this the, the license is not active yet. But I just want to show you what's going to happen if you start Katia without you activate your license. Okay, so now there is two ways you can start Katia in this case. Um, you have a shortcut on your desktop, uh, which is in my case, I, I, I just copied the one I have in my desktop or just move it to this folder I mean I mean it's up to you it doesn't matter where you want to put it but normally it should be on the desktop so I just copied this is my shortcut right there okay I can just double click this and Katia will start or the second option is go to your start program um, go to your start program and you just go to your Katia basically and you start it okay so now uh, let me uh, just uh, show you so I'm gonna go ahead double click this one and Katia will start and how you by the way just to the one way you can double check Katia is starting is check your process okay your process is Katia process is uh, it's gonna be C next. That's right there. This is Katia process. If you see this, that means Katia is running. So if somehow Katia is not starting. Check if this is running or not. Okay, just quick thing. Now, this is what you're gonna get once I start my Katia. Okay, I. This is what you see. So you see something like this, and everything grayed out, and you hit OK. Okay, then tells you uh, to pick your license or something like that let's see now you get this of course this is basically showing you that you have CS you see that grayed out CS1 configuration that means you have installed this configuration CS1 but you don't have a license active that's why it's grayed out and there's nothing to select okay so just hit ok and uh, basically close your katia okay and and let's go and import activate our license now okay now i'm gonna go to start programs and i'm gonna go to katia uh, student that's, that's my name the one that i picked for my installation from the beginning if you remember Okay, now then I'm gonna go to Node Lock Key Management V5 R19. Double click on it. I'm one click, and it's gonna come up something. Gonna come up. It may take like maybe a minute. I mean, just be patient and hold on. Just wait. Okay, so now you will get something like this, and don't freak out. This is not a problem. It's just as normal. This is basically a warning that telling you that you need to create this directory. Okay, and by the way, you see this background. This is the uh, target ID. And if you have this target, if there is a number in here, that means it should be everything fine. But just make sure you create this directory, okay? Then you should you can import it. Let's go do this directory. I'm gonna close this. So you have to have this exactly directory. C documents and setting all users application data IBM. Then you have to have a folder named LOM, okay? I just renamed it just to show you what's the problem. I mean, this kind of issues happen. Now you have to have this folder, LUM, in here. Okay, double click that. So basically, this is what you need. See documents and setting all users application LUM. Okay, do that and you should be okay. Now do the same thing for the node lock and we're going to import it. Okay, hold on. Start programs. Uh, student. Uh, student and node lock key management and it's now let's see what it's asking me again now I do have the directory but I don't have 
any license in there so let's go import the license okay we're gonna do import and I'm gonna get my license just remember that where you have the license you know I just went to just go to the directory where is the license located then select it and say open it tells you successfully is done okay then notice what happens see you have licenses right there and 65 whatever for you maybe you have 365 something like that like a one year that's what you have for your student now if you have a green ball that means your license is good to go and if you have number there and everything everything is activated you're good now double click your license uh, your katia and it should start fine without any problem at this moment here you go so your katia is starting here, you can use everything perfect, nice everything. You have your workbenches and everything is working nice. And uh, tools option. Uh, let me just show you where the license is there. In here, see where it says the license general. Then go to licensing. Okay. Now this is the licensing tab, and you see. Your license is active and nice everything you see local that's the node lock your license that you have in your machine so this is active you see so that's it and in the future in the next maybe video I will show you how you put your documentation and then once you we install our documentation for your Katia we have to put the pass for where it is installed and everything is, should be fine and we will talk about some more information about each option of this maybe in future uh, videos and I hope you find it this uh, good videos please leave me a comments or come to katiatutorial.com katiatutorialcat.com and just shoot me an email and let me know if you need anything else and hopefully and I will be help I will be able to help you out all right see you next video bye